Are you still meeting? How long is it going to take him to decide whether I can still work? Portia's in there now, speaking on your behalf. We want her to take a long time. But really, what can she say to convince the committee that I'm not a liability to GH or my patients? No one thinks you're a liability. Okay. How'd it go? seemed very open-minded about my support of you. Could you tell which way they were leaning? It was very formal. They were asking me questions about your history here, so I spoke on your professionalism and how you take care with each and every one of your patients, your knowledge and skill as a nurse. And they said they've already spoken with Finn and Frida Navarro. Oh, they also said that they got some letters from Patrick Drake, uh, Robin Scorpio Drake, Griffin Monroe. And Epiphany. They didn't say they received anything from her. But my union rep said they reached out to her. Maybe Epiphany hasn't turned in her letter. Well, what is the committee gonna think? Epiphany was my mentor in a lot of ways she still is. If they don't know that she supports me, I don't see how I have a chance. The committee is not out to get you on a technicality. A missing letter of support from my mentor isn't a technicality, it's a red flag. Isn't Epiphany on her campus visit at Johns Hopkins? Yes, that's right. That's the school that she got accepted to. She's probably meeting with her professors, shadowing a resident. I, I mean, it makes perfect sense that she wouldn't have a chance to write the letter for you yet. She might not even have gotten the request. Yeah, I, I didn't even think about that. OK, thanks. I'm going to go grab some coffee, get some air. You want anything? I'm good, thanks. I'm fine. Keep positive thoughts, OK? Thanks. <laughs> You know, as nervous as I am for myself and my future, I am so happy for Epiphany. And I'm not surprised one bit that she got into Johns Hopkins. She's the best nurse I know, and she's going to make such a great doctor. It's really an inspiration that she had the courage to follow her dream, and now it's coming true. Gives a person reason to hope, right? Hey, look who I found. Hi. I hope nothing serious brought you in. No, no, I just... I wanted to wish you luck with the ethics committee. I'll be rooting for you. Well, thank you. You know, when everyone started finding out that I helped Nicholas keep Esme captive, I, I just assumed people would turn their backs on me. I just can't believe how giving my friends have been. <laughs> Nicholas put you in an impossible situation. And you came forward, despite the potential consequences, even after I tried to convince you otherwise. Yeah, part of me thinks I should have listened. 